Hey, hey, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Chew Charot. This is Galtuba. I'm back with another pick a card reading for all of you. And today reading will be current feelings of your partner, the person on your mind, whoever you are dealing with, uh, what this person truly feel and think about you, what this person truly, um, you know, think about you, their this connection with you and their true intentions for you and what is what are they going to do next, what are they planning, what are their next uh, action or move towards you. So this is all about the person on your mind, either it's a current person, ex, someone from your past, situationship, ex, crush, anyone, whoever you are dealing with, okay? And you really want to know that how this person truly feel and think about you, their true intentions, their true feelings, thoughts, and next move all the detail the truth about this connection and the truth about this person so this is a general reading as i always say on my channel so please take what resonates and leave the rest you can also book a personal reading everything is given in my description box so you can reach out to me if you're interested to book a reading to book your reading with me so you have a three groups in front of you with the tarot uh, we are going to do the live uh, tarot shuffling we also going to use some oracles card and i'm also going to use my handmade messages love messages uh, to channel love messages from this person whoever this is uh, what do they want to say? What do they want to do? What do they want to, you know, thinking about you if you really want to know that. So all that detail about this person. So group number one is this. I think this is the golden wheel um, tarot deck if I'm not wrong. But again, forget about it. This is a lemon calcite crystal. So this is group number one. Number two is this spiral tarot deck with this beautiful rose quartz um, crystal. Number three is this tattoo tarot deck by this opal with this opal crystal so choose intuitively i'm going to meet you on your reading don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and like this video share this video i will really appreciate it so let's go let's start the reading and one more thing if you're new on my channel or if you're already a subscriber please always keep in mind i will never ever contact you do not get scammed uh, i will never message you i will never contact you saying anything or doing or asking you for anything just block and report these people Hello group number one, uh, welcome if you choose this beautiful ye yellow lemon calcite crystal and you choose this beautiful uh, tarot deck, let's see the person on your mind, how this person truly feel and think about you, let's go. You can move forward if you don't want to um, play forward, if you don't want to see the shuffling uh, session. So let's see how this person truly feel and think about you. We have the hermit reverse. Hmm. We have the nine of cups. We have the ten of coins. Ooh, la la la. So, um, you could have a Pisces and Virgo axis going on here with this person, like Pisces and um, Virgo. Astrological point. We have the Empress. Here you go. We also have the Devil. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This reading is all about earth sign, I think. Knight of coins, yes, more earth sign. So you both could be either an earth sign or one of you could be have a heavy earth placement or the person that you're dealing with, they have a heavy earth placement, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Uh, we have all the signs, to be honest, all earth sign. Uh, we also have an Aries. I'm also feeling Taurus. Um, could be um, Libra, Pisces going on here, okay? Now we also have a bottom of the deck three of cups and we also have the chariot yeah definitely cancer pisces and scorpio we also have a nine of wands energy and three of swords for some of you there could be a long distance connection here in this relationship okay this could be someone that who's your friend that you're asking about it could be you are asking about someone that who's is in a platonic sense i don't know um if you are not aware of it so maybe um you're asking about someone who's your friend or there could be some type of a friendship going on here like friends of benefits type of relationship going on with this person i think uh, whoever you're asking about um i'm also feeling some of you there could be an age gap between you and this person there's also some type of a third party involvement here like literally could be a family a mother um either you're a mother already watching this video or this person could already have someone like they they have family they have kids they could be have their ex i don't know there's a definitely family mother thing going on here and that's the next card with the temp empress to the devil now i'm also seeing this could be someone who's who is could be rich and wealthy does not have to be there's a third party this could be someone who's really focused on becoming more rich wealthy billionaire millionaire i don't know or this person could be coming from a very famous like very wealthy family a millionaire billionaire family um, this person could be coming from very um like 
businessman or woman family, um, I think this person is rich and wealthy or want to be rich and wealthy, whoever you're asking about. Because this is someone who's desiring nine of cups, like wanting more and more and more. And with the knight of coins, like this person is really working hard. And this person's goal is like definitely being being on this ten of coins, like more pentacle, more money, more finances. This person definitely is workaholic, whoever you're asking about. Um, I think this person is really workaholic with the devil energy. Um, and this person also living in a very luxurious lifestyle with the nine of cups and the devil. I hope it's not a celebrity that you're asking about. Uh, because these days it's really common you know people are having crushes on the celebrities and all that stuff but because i'm seeing this person's job is really really uh workaholic or very consuming very um like living luxurious lifestyle very busy lifestyle with the hermit reverse also this person does not even have a time to spend with their family with their parents like this person could even meet their family and parents on festivals um or some type of events um, whoever this person is, either they could live far away from their family and they see their family and meet their family when there's some type of a specific event or festival, I think. So I'm, I'm channeling someone who's very um, rich, wealthy, or want to be rich and wealthy. Um, but mostly I feel this is someone who's already settled down. So I think some of you, this is someone that you're very obsessed with. You have a crush on with the nine of cups and devil. You really, really like this person. Either physically, you're really drawn to this person. You want to be with this person. You could be even imagining and dreaming to have a family kids and everything all with this person but the problem is maybe you did not met this person yet in the free in the pre practical world so this could be someone like a crush that you met online internet or you could be seeing this person through friends or mutual friends or maybe you met this person in some type of a party or event and then boom you never met this person again so some type of a thing going on here that i'm not seeing that there's a consistent or continuous communication going on between you and this person because this person is really busy occupied by their family their work whoever it is now this could be also someone who's your friend and you maybe have a feelings for this person or this could be with the devil and three of cups when came up together it could be friends or benefits type of relationship because i'm seeing there's a lot of masks here so there's definitely a lot of things hidden from you maybe chariot um there is a possibility between you and this person of becoming friends or you can get close to this person, mutual friends or family friends, then there's a chance or potential to be with this person, to be honest. And others of you, if this is someone who's your ex and you're not, uh, in, you know, being together again. So what I'm feeling this person is with the nine of wands is like very guarded up. Um, this person could be trying to move on from you, but the problem is that are they maybe already with someone else? They choose someone else over you? But I don't think so. This person is like literally hiding something. Like there's still some type of a secrets going on here that you don't know about it. So let's see what's more about this connection because I really want to know. Yes, divine masculine. You could be dealing with someone who's very like divine masculine. Um, even if this is a woman, she could be in their divine masculine energy. We have a communication, expect a text, expect a call and confessing. Okay, for some of you, this could be a confession coming from this person. Like they even literally going to text you or call you if they have your number. We also have intimacy, lust, passion, and love. Here you go. So some of you, this is someone, I told you, like, if this is a friends of benefits type of relationship, this person want to meet you again for this, you know, like intimacy, passion, love, and desire. We have the only one cup card that is nine of cup. Definitely this person likes you. This person appreciates you. This person physically very drawn to you, very attracted to you. But you have to maybe if you are you if you did not date this person yet, let me tell you, this person is really busy or their lifestyle is very busy or you need to know that this person may be surrounded by a lot of women. If this is a man with an empress, like this person can have anyone, this person can get anyone, uh, either they're very attractive or they're very rich and wealthy, whatever it is. And others of you, I'm seeing this is something about this person's body. Maybe you really like it. This person could be into fitness. This person could be engineer. This person could be into business like trading. Yeah, I think this is someone who's really like attractive and charming. And even though if this is a woman, she could be very attractive. There's something to do with the red color. I don't know. Color red. We have a wrong timing. Okay. So, and we also have the loyal uh, passion for you, honesty. So this person maybe want to confess to you. There was a wrong timing. It's looked like right person, wrong timing, maybe. We have the flow, yeah. So this could be someone who want to go with the flow with you, want to get to know you. Or if there is a reconciliation happening with the Three of Cups and Chariot, I think it's happening in the future. Like you have to wait almost um, months, okay? 
Yeah, it could be next three months. Um, or literally, it could be literally happening in the month of July, this month, or August. Now, let's see. We have an air, yes. So, you could be dealing with someone who is an air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have meditation, intuition, trust your own intuition about this connection, about this person's feelings. This person could be literally guarded up because of their own trust issues. If they are not with someone, I think they could have a trust issues. Like they don't allow people to come near them because of their um, like rich and wealthy or their status maybe. Yeah, we have the forgiveness, apology, kindness and regret. For some of you, uh, this you could be waiting for this person to apologize to you. Whatever they did to you. We also have a retreat, get ready, travel, new experience came up reverse. So I think you also need to forgive, you know, forget about this person and focus on yourself and healing because you really need a retreat. Or this person could be trying to avoid you, trying to distract themselves with other things, even thinking about this situation. We also have a celebration, good karma party. So there could be some type of a celebration, um, a reunion, reconciliation or reconnection coming. Uh, for some of you, you maybe met this person on a party and or maybe a club, drinking club, a drinking party, a drinking place. Um, and, and you will see this person again, I think, wherever you saw them, you will meet them again. For some of you, I told you, if this is someone who is like a very popular person, like let's say um, someone who is like singer, actor, dancer. So you could be going to see this person, maybe performance. You can meet and see them again with their, this person will be there, I think. There's a chance here because I'm seeing this either it's a long distance or if you already um, maybe had some type some type of a thing going on with this person. So I think this can develop into something more. There's a chance. There's a potential. But if this is someone who hurt you and choose someone else over you and they put you in a third party, they hurt you, then I think you're really waiting for an, exp for an explanation or reunion, reconnection or um, some type of a um, confession. And I think it's coming very soon. You just need to have patience, I think. Now, let's see what this person want to say to you. This person channel messages, I think. Let's see what this person want to say to you. I just want to know that. What this person want to say to you. What do you want to say to my group number one? Let me shuffle, please. Thank you. Let's see, what this person want to say to you? Uh, I wish you were mine, dreaming about you. Okay, there's a lot, sorry. I wish I could you treated you better. You deserve more. So there's definitely I wish, I wish going on. So this person could be wishing and thinking about the past or thinking about their mistake um, and being regretful now. For some of you, this person already maybe moved on with the third party, and this is really hurting you. Um, I'm constantly, I'm constantly surprised by the longing for you that never quits. Um, I think this is someone uh, who's always longing for you. There is so much I want to say to you. Long distance relationship. That's a confirmation. We have. I realized how I messed up everything. The way you care about me, nobody care. Nobody does. Nobody loves me like you do. So. That's the energy and also bottom of the deck taking action very soon. I have to confess. I know so there's definitely some type of a confession or action coming very soon from this person. You just need to have be patient. I think allow this person to come towards you to apologize or to even explain things to you. If you're waiting for um, an apology, confession, message, call, it's all up to you. I, I cannot say that you have to wait and hold on to someone who is already maybe with someone. But what I'm feeling is like. There is a potential if you never dated this person. There's a potential to be a friend or getting to know this person. Um, there's a chance, okay? But I'm also feeling there's energy of like if there's a third party or other things involved here. So you have to definitely surrender and allow the situation to happen naturally. Go with the flow because you cannot force it. But there's also chance and opportunity coming very soon to meet this person, to see this person or to talk to this person. Okay? So that's your reading. Like, share and subscribe. Gonna see you later. Bye. Welcome group number two. If you choose this beautiful rose quartz and you choose spiral tarot deck. What I'm feeling from this energy is like um, this person could be 30 plus or you could be. Um, the month of January and April is important in this. Uh, it could be March, could be June. 
I'm also feeling um, you could be having, you know, I'm, I'm almost channeling infinity symbol like the spiral. So this could be on and off type of relationship with this person. Um, on and off, on and off, hot and cold, in and out type of situation with this person. So it's like a never ending story. Like you're always connected with each other, no matter if you're talking, if you're not talking. So if this is someone you just recently met or this is someone new. So let me tell you that this is how it's going to be with this person because... I don't know, this is going to be something with maybe your karma with each other. So let's see how this person truly feeling and thinking about you, what's going on. You can play forward if you don't want to see the shuffling part. We have an Eight of Swords energy. There you go, the Emperor. We have Ten of Wands. Seven of Cups. We also have the Princes of Pentacles. And Three of Wands. Hmm. It's look like you're waiting for this person to text you, to call you, to notice you, to message you. I don't know. So we have a bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles, and it's came up reverse. All the cards are upright, but only this card is here, I think. Ace of Pentacles, that's came up reverse. And we also have a Four of Pentacles. So this person and you, uh, and we also have the Hanged Man. So yeah, I think you're waiting. This could be a rainbow couple, does not have to be. And the Hanged Man underneath is Eight of Wands. So I think uh, there is definitely something to need to talk here between you and this person. There should be a communication. There should be a conversation. You could be waiting for some type of a message from this person. You really want a new beginning, but it's not happening. And it's really like, for some of you, you could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. And we also have a very strong Aries. Could be Pisces. We also have a lot of Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm also feeling um, Cancer. Taurus. Could be Gemini or Libra that you're connecting with. Okay, so listen, what I'm feeling is that, um, so with the Ten of Wands and Three of Wands, you're tired of waiting. There's definitely no doubt about it. You're tired of waiting and, you know, you keep waiting, you keep waiting and you're like, when this person going to send me a message? When this person going to talk to me? When this person is going to, maybe, there will, when there will be a new beginning between you and this person? I think this person is holding back because of their ego. Because look, Four of Pentacles, like this person is controlling. I'm going to show you. Here you go. Look at this, the hand gesture of this person. Like controlling, like very like forcefully trying to not talk because of their ego and pride. And there's also the window of, you know, like there's there, there's the flowers or there's something. No, it's a peacock. So yeah, this is someone who's really stuck in their ego and pride. So that's a very um, great message, I can think, I think. So I think that's why this person and you are not starting all over again. You're waiting for a new beginning with this person. Even though if this is a new person that you're just trying to talk, you're just trying to get this person attention. You're waiting for some type of a maybe communication or conversation and opportunity so you can, you know, start something with this person. But somehow this person is not giving you any opportunity with the emperor. Very controlling, very dominating, very powerful. This person could be very independent, very strong. Um, come off very strong and intimidating with the emperor energy this person's emotions are in the control this person could be acting cold like everything is not not like acting cool sorry the emperor is like acting cool like nothing is happening i don't care but with the eight of swords and seven of cups this person is literally confused like have no idea what's going on in this connection and they have no idea maybe what do they want in their life like they really want to settle down they really want to fix things for some of you with the emperor and princess here so maybe this person is already a father like this person or mother they could already a parent maybe that's why they're not ready to settle down um to start something new because they already i think going through a lot in their life with the ten of wands responsibilities for some of you if it's not a parent or someone you're not dealing with someone who's already a parent so there could be some Thing to do with responsibilities like this person is really feeling overburdened and over pressure and they definitely will text you they will call you they will be ready but i think it's it's going to happen in the future in the three of wands and you keep waiting you keep waiting and you're also feeling drained and exhausted i think there will be princes of pentacles is like there could be an age gap between you and this person this person definitely sees you as this princess like really sees you as this our prince, whoever you are, male or female, um, just I'm picking up the energies. Like this person really adore you, really see the potential in you and worth in you. Like this person really want to invest in you, want to send you some type of a message, communication, want to start something with you, want to get to know you maybe. 
we have a eight of swords energy and seven of cups this person is really really stuck in their own head and confused maybe they're distracting themselves this person could be also feeling overwhelmed because of this intensity of this relationship like this is very intense and this person cannot handle their emotions and feelings you can see that only cup card here is the seven of cup so it's definitely talking about this person is still thinking still trying to figure it out if they really want to be in a relationship if they really want to be you know be in love so they could be dreaming about you. They could definitely see the potential in you because I think this is someone with the emperor is very practical, very logical type of a person. So they definitely want to plan things and this person have no idea what do they want in this relationship or maybe they're not finding a solution about this situation with you. Maybe they're waiting for you to text them or message them or call them like where they're like, why you stop talking to them? Why you're not giving them attention anymore? But this person is really holding back their feelings because of their ego and pride or could be some type of a position. Some of you, this could be your boss that you're asking about. Literally, this person could be a boss or they are literally a very bossy and leadership qualities they have. But I also feel this person has a lot of things going on in their life right now, personally, not nothing to do with you. And you keep waiting for this person like when it's going to happen. And it's really delaying and delaying. With the Ace of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles, I think this person is really holding back because of some financial things. And there could be someone controlling this person maybe. I don't know. The things are really stuck. You could be a rainbow couple. does not have to be. But we have an Eight of Wands. Yes, there will be a communication, I think. And I can see that this is definitely the universe is pushing this person to talk to you, to communicate, have a conversation at least. And I think this will happen. With the, uh, with the hangman, it's like there's a definitely delay here. It's like there's definitely something delaying and this person knows that. I think because this person is not ready yet. They're not ready to open up. They're not ready to do, do something. I also feel this person is trying to get to know you with the three of pentacles or want to get to know you. Maybe this person does not know about much about you. Maybe that's why they're really wanting to know what's going on with you, what type of person you are. So then they can open up to you, I think. Maybe you are the always one, you are the one always keep texting them, keep calling them and messages, messaging them. And I think you maybe stop doing that. And now this person is wondering, where are you? If you will come back, they may be trying to still figure it out. What is this relationship about? They could be going through this awakening right now. They're, they're really trying to figure it out. Yes, it is safe for you to love, take action, leap of faith and safe. Yeah. So I think this person is being cautious to trust you, to take the leap of faith in this connection, to open up to you. We also have a soulmate. So this is a divine connection. We also have the marriage, but it's came up reverse. Forever commitment, it's came up reverse. So yeah, this person definitely afraid of commitment and marriage. And others of you, they could be, I told you, like they could have already other responsibilities. So they're not thinking about that. Or I told you this person already have responsibilities like this. They have other, you know... Like they have kids, they have a family, there's something going on. For some of you, not for everyone. We have the water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have a priority, family, provider, make the effort. Yeah, I think this is someone who's definitely focused right now, being a provider right now. With the Emperor and Ten of Wands, this is a, definitely a provider. This is someone who's definitely taking care of their family, responsibilities. They really want to do everything all, and then they will jump into a relationship and want to do something. They want to be sure about you, about this connection, about their future. And this is, that's why this person is definitely not, you know, ready for something right now. We have a fertility, blessings, and pregnancy. For some of you, this person really sees you, I, I told you, as a fertile, like really like very drawn to you and really sees the future with you with the three of wands. Some of you, this could be the father of your kids, maybe. Maybe that's why you're asking them. Maybe the father of your kids are someone that you, who got you pregnant. Not for everyone, we have the runner. So yeah, this is someone who's keep running away from you, keep running away from commitment, marriage, pregnancy, kids. This person really overwhelmed when they think about marriage, commitment, and future. Yeah, I think this person is afraid of that. We have a loyal. This person could be very loyal, wrong timing. Yeah, we have the wait. So maybe you have to wait until this person is ready. But I'm not here to tell you that you should be waiting. Divine Masculine and uh, Emperor is also Divine Masculine. So yeah, this is someone who's definitely not coming an action in the Divine Masculine energy. Because they really keep running. We have a life partner. Forever potential. For some of you, you have a forever potential with this person. Commitment, marriage and pregnancy. But they have to be prepared. They have to be ready. 
this could be literally your divine masculine soulmate a twin flame we already have a soulmate that's a connection obviously this person and this is coming again and again this person could be jealous watching you you know keeping the eyes on you like who you are talking who you are up to or uh, maybe this is you you are jealous like watching this person when they are doing other things i don't know we also have a false twin flame lesson not a divine connection so for some of you you maybe have a choice between two people you could be dealing with your karmic and there's another situation here is that who's literally your divine masculine interesting yeah you could be an air sign or you could be dealing with an air sign now let's see what will happen next between you and this person okay i think there will be i think you should have to wait like almost three weeks like you have to uh, three weeks or three months you just need to wait and see where this is going maybe this person is going to communicate and their conversation is coming and i'm also feeling this is this is a chance to talk to this person in the month of august there's something happening in the month of august this person is going to give you a hint or signal or something or i'm feeling communication is coming but you just need to surrender because the, if you will keep waiting for this person this will be keep delaying and this person will keep running so just you just need to focus on your life and for future plan about your futures and and make your own priorities okay because this person's priorities is something else right now not this connection to be honest i'm sorry to say that is their own family is this person as a provider they're focusing on their work their career like they want to be something um i don't think so ace of pentacles reward this person is not prepared this person could be very stubborn very stubborn and very fixated in their own way with because this person is a divine masculine like very stubborn too stubborn so for some of you you maybe have someone else in the future coming so maybe you will see this person as a false twin flame or you could be already dealing with someone who's a false twin flame and then you will meet your divine counterpart like literally your true soulmate after meeting your karmic a divine partner some of you this is not have to be with this person maybe this person dealt with someone who was very wrong and false twin flame and they gone through karmic situation so they're having a difficult time to trust you and to open up to you there's definitely trust issues here like this person is definitely not feeling safe to open up look at this for some reason this person is very controlling very stubborn now let's see um what this person want to say to you what are the messages from coming from this person looking f you from afar i told you it's watching keep watching watching the uh, and maybe this person is jealous if you're talking to someone and if you are maybe this person want to know that if you have someone else we also have my your friends run our relationship so this person's definitely influenced by their friends the way you care about me nobody does nobody loves me like you do i'm also hearing the song love me like you do yeah so that could be a song or uh, maybe there's a lyrics like this person want to say this to you we also have i'm constantly surprised by the longing for you that never quits so this person is keep missing you you inspired me to change myself for you I'm planning to be committed and getting married with you. Yeah, for some of you, this person is literally coming with proposal. Wanna get married? Wanna get you pregnant? Want to have a family? Because this person never thought that they will do that, and they may be feeling safe. And others of you, this person is still in that fear, long distance relationship maybe. We have don't hate me for I for what I did. I am heartbroken. It's different. It's difficult to open my heart again. Yeah, that's a message. This person really hurt. This person really got betrayed, cheated on, and I think this person is burned in the relationship. They already gone through a lot. Maybe that's why they're not trusting. This is nothing personal with you. They're they, this person is definitely suffering and struggling. I am in a karmic situation. I can't be with you right now. This is for those people. I hate that you are ignoring me. For some of you, this person is jealous because you're not giving them that much attention as you used to give them. If you are keep moving forward and keeping your heads up, I wish I could uh, treated you better. You deserve more love. So yeah, this is someone who's been in a regret now, and they could be really focusing themselves and putting themselves into work so they cannot think about you. That's what I'm feeling for this person. So that's your reading. Like, share, and subscribe. Gonna see you later. Bye. Hello, group number three. Welcome. If you choose this beautiful opal crystal and this tattoo tarot deck, let's see. The person on your mind, how this person truly feel and think about you, what's going on. You can play forward if you don't want to see the shuffling um, part. Let's see. 
how this person truly feel and think about your group number three seven of wands Ooh. i'm hearing love and hate we have ten of cups seven of cups this person is dreaming about you to have a family with you to create a family this is someone that you may be discussed uh, about family having a family with them or yeah so maybe that's why this person is thinking about you in that way we have a four of cups this person feel rejected by you this person feel you're ignoring them you're rejecting them you don't care about them with the death and moon so you really uh, awaken something in this person Um, bottom of the deck, we have a Knight of Souls and we have the Magician. So this person is manifesting you. This person maybe want to talk or want to heal things or to, maybe trying to move on. But the more that this person try to move on from you, the more this person think about Six of Cups, like friendship or the moment that you share together. Your memories, nostalgia, missing you, thinking about you. I feel this person could be watching you somewhere, wherever they have this um, place to watch you, I think. Um, this person is being very nostalgic about you. This person feel like you're the soulmate with the six of cups. I'm also seeing with this crescent moon and moon and star and the cross. So you could be one of you could be Muslim, other could be a Christian. That could be a, one of the possibility, but there could be a different culture religion here. That's why this person is really keep trying, forcing like seven of wands is like keep like no, I cannot do it. They're resisting. They're stopping themselves to not fall for you. With the four of cups because they know either they're going to be rejected by you or this is like they, they know their family is not going to approve it with the ten of cups but this person somehow does not know the more they're thinking about you the more they are manifesting you so this could be someone who's younger than you we have a knight of swords and magician energy here so i think this person definitely going to manifest you back in their life or if, if this is a new person then this person really this person, there's something happened with this person. Either this person lost a mother, lost a parent, or there's something with the death and moon. I think this person's identity is changed. Um, they come out of an illusion. Um, they're really finally facing the reality and truth and accepting the truth. So if this is someone who was really like forcing themselves to not fall for you, now this person really think that you are the soulmate and there could be something can happen between you and them. Like either friendship or romance or either, I don't know, it's a platonic. I don't know. There's something going on here. Yes, I think, and we also have the strength. This, this person is finding this courage and strength to talk to you with the Ace of Swords. This person really want to talk to you, I think, so badly. If there's something happened between you and this person, I think this person really want to fix things with the Ace of Swords and Six of Swords. Like they want to clear something. They want to explain something. And this person could come off very like they did something with the Knight of Swords. I think they're... they're their action was very impulsive or they said something very rationally, rudely. And now this person is really feeling like they, they're regretting, like they feel like they should not do it. Like they have to, with the death and moon card, I think this is, um, I don't know why I'm feeling this is the death of their ego, their pride. This is also like with the moon and death, like this person really gone through a lot of, like a dark night of a soul, like spiritual awakening. There's some type of... Um, this person think about you at a night and could be keep manifesting you at a night. You could be also seeing a lot of signs, symbols, synchronicities about this person. So this is your sign that this person is thinking about you. You could be also seeing this person in your dreams. This is someone who really, really connect with you. Like they feel, their inner child feels so happy and feel, and feel safe with you. I don't know. Um, that's that's the energy. This person could have a taboo, uh, sorry, tattoos on their body. So it, I said taboo. So this could be a taboo type of a relationship. Hmm. This person is very skillful. Like they're very powerful. They're very independent. They can do it. I think, and they really want to do it. They really want to show you their different side. If this is something that happened between you and this person in the past, and you really maybe misunderstood them, or there's something happened, I think they really want to show you a different side of them. Their masculine side. If this is a masculine, if this is a woman, she really want going to want to show you. She want to show you their imp uh, her improvement, like her improved side. Like she's really changed. She's really transformed. This person maybe uh, there's some type of a permanent change came up, and this person gone to find some type of a awakening, realization, come come through some type of illusion. 
this person is really transformed something death and ten of cups like you really make this person so happy or there's something about you this person feel like you're a home like you're a family you're like very loved one and close one to this person and others of you if this is not happening yet this person will do that in the future like this there's a potential here seven of cups and moon this person could be daydreaming about you to be honest i'm telling you this person really daydreaming about you and even they're thinking that much that they, they're coming in your dreams you're always on this person's mind like always they want to talk to you i think this person really badly want to talk and um Others of you, if you talk to this person already and confess your feelings, then I think you need to allow them to come towards you, give them space to explain. I know they, they can come off very straightforward with the Knight of Swords or their words can really cut through it. Or they said something that's really still hurting you. Or you maybe said to this person something like they're still hurting them. Like they cannot forget about it. They cannot forget about it, I think. Whatever you said to this person or whatever they said to you, I think. There's something about the words that that been spoken between you and this person. Yeah, we have a deception, lies, wearing a mask, secret. So the moon is also secret. So this person is not revealing their true side, true feelings to you. They're, they're keeping it secret. This person could be also, uh, you know, hiding their feelings. This person could be our sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have redemption, yes, needing forgiveness, redeem oneself. Yeah, this person really wants to... If, if I don't know if this is a friend you're asking about or this could be someone that you feel very platonic connection with. It's also romantic. So there's definitely it could be same gender sex. Maybe that's why. But it's like redemption here. Like this person really want to want to be with you. Like they don't want to let you go. They don't want to end this. They're trying. Look at this. Look at this, what I said. Conflict, yeah. So this person really want to stop you if you left or you're leaving. They really want to stop you. This person really want to talk. You maybe have a disagreement with this person. This person could be also confused how to move forward from you because they don't know if you will talk to them or not. Yeah, we have a past life connection. I'm not even surprised. Yes. So this person definitely feels something with you. There, there, there's an unconditional love here between you and this person. This person want to know that, what happened, why you're leaving, why we can work things out. Like this person really want to work things out, like literally from their heart. Look at the heart here, like from their heart. They really want it. Forgiveness. Yeah, they want your forgiveness or kindness or they really want you to forgive them. They're regretting. This person needs your affection. They feel like you're, this person is going to be very touchy with you. They really want you to open your door, open your heart for them. You maybe open this person's heart. They never felt this type of a connection with anyone. We also have within a few weeks, you will get some type of a, you know, conversation, message or communication. We also have a bad influence. So this person could have a bad habit or they were bad influenced by some people. And now they left those people because now finally they realized who was impacting them. We have the weight. So this person is definitely the trust in the divine timing. I think this person will come back to you or return to you. Are they really one? If this is a new person, I think this is like you really need to give them a chance. Because they're really trying to improve. They're really trying to prove themselves. Trust the process. Trust the journey. We also have cold. Left out in the cold. One-sided. Yeah, this person really feel left out in the cold by you. They think that it's one-sided. You don't care about them. The way, the way you said to them. Or maybe you were feeling left out in the cold. You thought, you thought this person does not care. No, it's not the problem. I think they're really trying to figure themselves out. Fast movement. This person could have a very fast they're coming very fast. I'm feeling this person could also have a very fast vehicles like car. They drive very fast, I think. They could be into racing, competition. Yeah, there should be a compromise here. And this person finally understanding in the solitude. Yes, they're understanding finally. They could be born into a dog here. Yes, there's a competition here. Eyes and another. On, on another multiple option so this person could have multiple options or maybe if you have a multiple option this person is ready or preparing themselves to fight other options just to be with you i think you will this person will prove you this person will prove you i want to prove you and if this person has options i think you really need to prove yourself to this person because there, there's a lot of competition here like a lot of people maybe want to be with this person or let's see now what this person want to say to you or anything this person's channel messages i am planning to be committed and getting married with you 
you would like my dream come true yeah this person really sees you as an ideal partner i want to tell you how how much i adore you i love you i miss you but yeah so there's some type of a but here that's stopping this person to come forward You're trying to move on. You're leaving me, but I can't. This person cannot move on. This person definitely seeing you moving on, or maybe they think that you you're moving on. You don't care. Ex express your feelings. I like you too. So this person really like you. Maybe they're waiting for you to give them a chance. Give make them a move. Make the move, and let them know. So let's see. I think spirit is saying, please don't worry about our future. Let's have fun in present moments. Listen to your heart. I feel the same same passion for you. I think this is someone who is a mutual feelings for you, mutual crush for you. Don't worry. I will accept your child or children. So the, if you're worried about child, this person really will accept it. Oh, babe, you have my heart. Asking you out for a date very soon. So this person really, I think this is someone that you maybe did not date it. Um, and now this person will ask you out. You inspired me to change myself for you. So yeah, this is something that happened already, I think. The change, transformation happened because of you. You really open this person's eyes for something, I think, or open the door for them. Or they see this, this like new opportunity in you. Like they feel like th they see this love in you. They see this, this potential in you. They see that there are future with you. They see that there's something can develop with you. They can have this family, love, romance that they ever dream of be with you. So that's your reading. I'll see you later. Like, share, and subscribe.